Hey, this is Hitbox Dust, and I want to give you a quick tour of the new CrossUp Designer 1.06 software. This is the software that comes with your CrossUp that's designed to uh, give you full button remap ability for all of your stuff. So you can click on any button and change it to any other button. So you just click on it, you pick out from these new menus, and then you can that button will now be D-pad up if that's what you want it to be. So um, you, cre you, you create your layout, like let's make this one... Um, let's put a yeah let's put a start button here why not and then we're going to call this our own layout so you can double click and then when you're ready you can either save it to your controller and that'll be the new default profile one the switch on the left of your controller and the or you can go control e or this new menu here save layout load layout import layout export layout we can export it and it remembers that we what we called it it took a screenshot of the button layout, and then now you can put in your own video link or blog link and or whatever your layout notes, you can present it well, and then you can share it with us on Discord so we can check it out. Um, so this is the new um, super overhauled way to import and export profiles. Uh, I definitely recommend you, you try it and share with us what you come up with. Um, beyond that, we also, uh, like I said, you can go here for import layout, or you can go control I and in browse layouts we've got dozens of layouts for you to check out and choose from um you know like uh, let's let's do this one with classic mk so yeah we, we made one here that if you want to play it like the old school arcade cabinet you can play mortal Kombat like that um and so yeah you can make these share us what you come up with and definitely check out all the layouts we provided for you because um, this is super fun. Yeah, if you haven't been taking advantage of the creativity side of your cross up, I definitely recommend it. Um, and you're not li uh, limited to just putting it on profile one. You, you, there's 12 different profiles that you can fully customize. And we loaded it up, of course, for you. We've made uh, training layouts um, for, for the secret menu. What happens is this is punch one. So when you hold down punch one, when you load your controller, this button right here, um, the third switch, um, this is the first switch and then the starting smash one is the third switch this becomes this profile as soon as you hold down punch one when you light it up um, uh, you could read the blog to, to get more detail of it but this is now a tekken combo practice layout so whenever you want to grind rock wall carries you just go press this button it's on the face of the controller and and it's just a convenient way to do training mode because that's where we spend a lot of our time so this is a dragon ball z one um, this is dummy record, this is dummy playback, and then and then we got rid of this to reset training mode. So it's technically a nerfed layout, but it is so convenient for grinding specific things. So what we did is um, I loaded up the secret menu with some sample ones, uh, Uniclear and um, Street Fighter V, but any of these you can replace. Like uh, if you don't play Street Fighter, we're going to go Control-I for import layout. I'm going to use the shortcut, browse, and then check out all of the different training mode layouts down here. So we can do a Samurai Showdown one, um, Mortal Kombat, um, or a Tekken 7 one for the training dummy stuff. Uh, pick one, check it out. These are really cool ideas. Uh, these are supplemental to the actual training mode keys, which is up here. If you click on that, um, this is the Street Fighter V one because you use right stick for training mode. So you use them together. I'll go to the, uh, the original profile one. This is the main default is... Stick up will reset Tekken, stick down will reset Marvel, and then Street Fighter, dummy recording stuff. What happens is on the back right of your controller, if you hold down touchpad and start, that will put your controller into training mode. So you get, uh, it changes your layout into having these accessible uh, training mode functions. And then if you just want to grind it out with a specific profile, you can always load up uh, one of the actual training layouts that's designed to just have it be on the face of the controller. Um, what we did as well with the training, uh, the training mode, touchpad plus options, is if you export the profile like this, we're gonna do uh, control E again, because we're in the high, it'll say training mode right here. And when you import that, um, so let's say I wanna import a training mode layout, we're gonna go down here to our option touchpad plus options and then we'll uh we'll load in here and it'll say training mode only so that will go and we'll import it if we imported it right into here so uh you've got lots of new toys to play with uh uh before i, I went to the nintendo switch bit uh, you can toggle back and forth between nintendo switch mode and playstation mode because the cross-ups nintendo switch compatible we've also added a bunch of smash profiles check those out um and then of course uh 
down here on the secret menu, if we hold down kick one, then it'll go into anime style, which is upright, so it's way easier, instant air dashes, um, thumb foo style, so all of your, your directions are down here to be controlled by your thumb, and then up here it's the sequence. There's a ton of creative stuff. Uh, there's even the shooter one that I made for you to try out. You plug in your nunchuck, and since the nunchuck is remappable, here's our nunchuck controls. Uh, I set it to right stick, which is how you aim in first person shooters. L2 is how you look down the sights in first person shooters, and R2 is the trigger button to fire. So um, you hold your nun truck, and then you run with the stick, and then you can press these. Uh, it's actually it's actually way better than it should be. And uh, if you like the idea of that, we've made a whole bunch of other ones. Well, I guess not a whole bunch, but enough to get the ideas going. So we're gonna if you go down to other and shooters, uh, this is one that I made that's just wacky just to show you some of the fun stuff you can do you turn your cross up upside down and it's and it's a WASD keyboard style and then you hold your your nunchuck over here there's all sorts of ridiculous cool stuff you can do and this is I promise you way actually more useful than than you might think this actually is great so I have fun with it I hope you have fun with it uh, let us know what works for you and let us know some of your wacky ideas uh, because Really, this is just this is just brand new frontier of all the cool stuff you can do with your cross up. So please, if you have not downloaded the designer yet, does uh, uh, download it, open it up. First thing to you, upgrade your firmware so you get to play with all the new settings. So upgrade your firmware, and then start importing, exporting layouts. Uh, just just get creative and have fun with it. So this is the new overhauled designer 1.06. So download it and check it out.